Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Adam, and this again is What the Forge. Today I need a tool, so I'm going to make a tool. What tool do I need? Well, I need a hot cutting chisel because the cold cuts I've been using are not really meant for that, they're meant for cold cutting. So, yeah, I need one of the ones with the little rounded edge on it so that you can kind of chase it down the cut. So that's what I'm making today. You get to come along and watch. Alright, this is a piece of car coil spring that I got quite a while ago from a gentleman on the Blacksmithing for Beginners Tailgate Sales Group. And the very first thing I want to do is try to square this up a little bit. Not quite completely square, but square-ish. So there's that side. Now we'll go heat up the other side and try that. octagon but that's okay basically more than anything this was just to straighten it out a little bit and get it so that I could easily work with it hold it in my tongs and whatnot all right now what I'm going to try and do is upset one end a little bit so I can get a little bit wider bit and because this is tool steel um, it's going to be a little difficult to localize that heat so what I'm going to try and do is let this normalize a little bit, let it cool back down to a black heat, and then just put the very, very end of it in the forge. See if I can get as short a heat as possible on that end so I can upset it. It is upsetting a little bit already. Not as much as I'd like, but I guess I'm going to have to stick it in a little bit further and get a little bit bigger heat on it. Heat it up a little hotter. Uh, Alright. starting to upset where I want it. A little bit more and I think we'll be ready to actually forge this thing. Try and 
localize this upset here on the bottom. about that, I just realized you probably couldn't see that. I do apologize. What I did was I flipped it upside down and then I hit it from the upset end. to actually forge this thing into a chisel. When I come back out of the heat, I will be drawing this end down into a taper, a one-way taper down this way, and hopefully it'll flare out on both sides and round out at the end. If it doesn't, I'll just have to play with it later and fix it in the grind, but that's what I'm trying to do now. So. All right. shape that's exactly what I was looking for. I just gotta tip it back that way a little bit, straighten it out. Perfect. Nice long handle for holding on to. Alright, I'm gonna flip it around in the forge. I'm gonna make that struck end just a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna draw it down into a slight taper. So that it's a little smaller so that when it mushrooms it'll be easier to dress and then this tool here will be done ready for grinding. which I'm sure you've seen, is our finished hand hot cut chisel. There we 
we go. There we go, folks. One forge to finish, hot cut chisel. All we got to do is grind the bevel on it and heat treat it. That's it. As I just realized, this tool here, since it's for hot work, will not require hardening. Now, some people do, some people don't. As it's for hot work and I'm really slow at hot work, I'm going to just say it's probably going to lose its temper the very first time I use it. So I'm not even going to bother quenching this. I'm going to give it three normalizing cycles and grind it. And it should be tough enough. It's probably somewhere in the vicinity of 5160 steel. So it's pretty average use for punches and chisels and whatnot. So it should be fine. If I have to redress it from time to time, I've left plenty of length for that so I don't really have that much of a problem even if I've got to reforge it later that's fine but it should work just fine just the way it is I'll give it a couple of normalizing cycles and it should be good but I'll show you the quick finish grind and the finished product and then that'll be the end for this video folks that's it that is the finished hot cut chisel and hot cut ground and finished that is as far as it's going to get finished because it's just for cutting hot cut there we go now I have my hot cut and cut yeah Jesus Christ I can't talk my hot hand cut chisel Thank you so much for watching guys I do appreciate it uh, if you like this please let me know leave a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know how I'm doing this is again an entirely learning experience for me everything you see me do it's the first time that I have done it well almost everything I do the bracelet video that you'll see at some point I've done one before that but other than that, everything you see me do is something that I have yet to do so far. So, I'm getting there. Little by little, I'm working my way up the chain, learning to do stuff, make stuff for myself. I'm really enjoying it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly the second that I post something up. Because apparently... 
Y'all like watching my stuff, and I'm okay with that. Love you guys. Bye.